Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO team up video. Today's team up video, guys, we're looking at a top 10 Japan Charizard deck that got top 10, obviously. Charizard has been a card that I've been considering making a video on for a while. It's a popular card, but I just never got around to it. I didn't really know the best list for it. And then this top 10 list popped up. Now, I've seen this list before using the Flareon um, engine in your deck for... Um, HGX attack. I've seen it. I think Shintaro Ito, uh, I think made this build. So yeah, and then he made the Power Pump deck. So he obviously didn't play that at this new event. I think that was from earlier this season. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Before we get into this PCO video, of course, guys, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. If you guys need to get any PDCGO codes or any packs, or you need to get any other codes for any GXs like Jolteon or Melmetal GX, you can definitely go get them over at Card Cavern TCG best place to get them and of course you can use the discount code LDF for discount on your purchase. Now let's take a look at the Charizard deck. Um, actually before I do get into this next part I do want to say um, I have some expanded team up content I want to do so if you guys want to see any expanded team up videos leave a comment down below. I'm look, I want to look into like Latios, Latias, Tag Team and Expanded, Pikaram and Expanded I kind of want to look at too. Uh, Charizard and Expanded I actually want to look at also because it has Blacksmith. So you guys want to see some Expanded team-up content, uh, let me know in the comments. So Charizard from Japan, Top 10 Charizard. A lot of people kind of just play Charizard with just like Jirachi. Some lists are playing like Alolan Ninetales to get rare candy. Really though, once you get Charizard in play, you kind of get access to do the big damage with Roaring Resolve. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may put two damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, search your deck. Put the two fire energy and attach them to this Pokemon. So that's a really strong ability. Self acceleration is really powerful. Then you have the attack continuous blaze ball, which for two fires does 30. Then you have to discard all fire from this Pokemon. Does 50 more damage for each card you discard in this way. So if you have two fire energies from the ability, you do 130. If you have three fire energies on, you do 180. So your numbers rack up really quickly. Continuous blaze ball can one shot stuff. Um, and it's just an uh, unlimited damage attack. So Charizard can hit dangerous numbers thanks to that ability and the attack combined. Unfortunately, Charizard is a Sage 2, so it's really clunky to get into play. And we're in a format right now where Sage 2s are actually really weak because of how popular Zapdos is. Uh, Stage 2 decks like this are not really as popular or good as they once were, like a format earlier. So it kind of sucks for Charizard's case. But this did make top 10, and that isn't a format though where they, you know, have like Basel Fermosa. So the other part of this deck is going to be Flareon GX. Flareon GX, oh by the way, shout out to my boy Mini UK English. Is he still online? He is. Shout out to my boy Mini for letting me borrow the Flareon GX. Because these are still really expensive for some reason. Uh, but Flareon GX is actually serves multiple purposes in this deck. Not only can you do Heat Stage, uh, you can also use Power Burner to really come in clean. So Heat Stage can do 1 for 30. You can put three energy from your hand to your Pokemon. You actually play 14 energy in this list. So, I mean, you can use this to build up a Charizard if you want. Um, then you also have Power Burner. This is one of the main reasons why Flareon is played in this deck. Charizard in the end game will discard a ton of fire energies. You'll have like eight or nine in the discard. And then you can come in with a Power Burner for a single fire energy and just do 20 damage for each fire energy in your discard pile. And we can use Power Burner to just come in and clean up the board and take out a big Pokemon potentially with all the fires that we've discarded with Continuous Blaze Ball. So that is basically why Flareon is so good in here. Um, and again, Heat Stage can come in handy in some situations. The other part of the deck is just Jirachi for Stellar Wish. Um, and then also, like, Stellar Wish obviously helps you get your rare candies. And then Absol's in the deck too. Uh, this is kind of the way we beat Zapdos, or not beat it, but kind of counter against it. Absol's ability allows you to force your opponent's basic to have one more energy in the retreat cost. Really good against Jirachi. So that's why the apps is in here. And that's literally it. Four Charmander, four Charizard. There is no Charmeleon, which I guess is something to play. You can definitely try to fit a Charmeleon in this deck. One of the things that makes Charizard so good in the Japan format right now is Buzzle Fermosa is super popular. And that is a very easy three prizes for Charizard to take. So it's like Charizard can do better uh, when that card comes out for sure. For now, it's, I mean, it's good. I guess. Uh, we'll try and make this list work. I definitely would try to fit a Charmeleon into this deck though because like running on just four candies is honestly not too efficient in this format. In the other format it is because if you play against Bubble Fermosa you like auto win. 
but here it's like you don't really get that luxury because we don't have that card yet, and Celebi Venusaur is not as popular. Now we go to the items. Uh, one Energy Recycler, great to get your energy back, because you still need to get energy back in your deck to keep playing four Nest Balls to set up your Charmanders and everything. One Pokecom, really good card. Uh, four Candies, obviously, one Stretcher. And again, if I were to play anything in this deck, probably would try to fit in either another Stretcher or, again, a Charmeleon or two. Four Ultra Balls, be able to search for your Pokemon. Uh, one Heat Factory, really good uh, stadium in this deck to be able to draw three cards. Really does help us get the Charizards into play. One Shrine is in this list. Uh, sometimes Charizard's numbers can be awkward. I mean, if you do 180 for three, you know, Shine can make it 190, and then you one-shot alternate Cosmos. Uh, one Bill's Analysis. Uh, this is basically just in here for the effect of looking at your uh, top seven cards. You can get, like, a rare candy for free, which is pretty good. Um, three Cynthia, four Lily. Literally only seven draw supporters, but we're relying on Jirachi and Heat Factory engines. It's fine to play that many draw supports. Three Guzmas, of course. Two Choice Bands, another really good card in this deck to help your Charizards reach good numbers. Two escape boards for your Jirachis. And again, 14 fire energy. That is a lot of fires. And to be honest with you, that might be a little too much. I mean, obviously, you need a lot of energy for Flareon's attack, power, burner. To be honest, though, you could definitely cut out a fire and put in, like, a Charmeleon. Again, I really think this deck could use a Charmeleon in our format. We're going to try out the Japan list, though, just how it is. Obviously, there's no Buzzle Fermosa right now in our format to kind of play against to uh, obviously auto win but there's other matchups like pika rom and zapdos which we could run into and we can try and beat so yeah let's try it out and finally i'm playing charizard so here we go all right guys let's go slide into some games with charizard all right i'm excited to finally try out charizard i was playing it in expanded and charizard with blacksmith and expanded as long as you can consistently keep a stream of charizards going charizard and expanded is actually pretty dang busted like it's Charizard and Expanded is super powerful if you're able to keep Charizard. So we are using the Charizard avatar, so this should be a video that is successful in terms of games because we're using an avatar that matches our deck for once. So there you go, the Charizard avatar pays off. Speaking of paying off the Charizard avatar, I've had some people ask how much this is before. The whole set is worth over probably 200 packs. They removed the Charizard Avatar items from the shop. You can no longer purchase them, so they're a lot more scarce now. Um, so, uh, yeah, the ch whole Charizard set is probably going to be worth way more than 200 packs in the next coming years. So if you are trying to get this Avatar item set, definitely try and go for it now. Now, I did not mention we are up against a Dark Grass deck, which could very well be what we want to play against. If their deck is a Grass deck and not a Dark deck, this should be an auto win as long as we're able to uh, get Charizard into play we did mulligan see how many times we did mulligan hopefully we get a good start going and everything should be gravy another nice thing about flareon in this deck again that first attack can uh, get a lot of energies into play you don't have like fiery flint to combo with it but because we have 14 energies and even like heat factory it's not too hard to get energy going and all right we got the jirachi start not bad not a terrible hand uh we got the Nest Ball and Charizard and Guzma, so we can definitely make something happen. Is this going to be Celebi Venusaur? Let's find out. Could be Celebi Venusaur with, like, Absol as the Dark type. I'm assuming Absol is what the Dark type is. That's my best guess. I guess we'll find out. It could be Zoropod, but there's literally no Leleys or Dittos or Mucks. So, um, this has to be a Grass deck. It is nice. It's Venusaur. Perfect. So, yeah, we literally, sh we can win this game. This is, this is what we want to play against, Kappa. I, we're probably going to Nest Ball for Charmander, Ultra Ball for another Charmander, just try and get a bunch of Charmanders down, and we're golden. The only thing I guess that gets in my way is Absol. We can't retreat for free. I might just get rid of both fires, to be honest with you, because I kind of want to keep the Guzma so we can Guzma the Bench Venusaur so that we don't have to worry about retreating Jirachi. But, I don't know. Hopefully we get a Lily here, but double Charmander should be perfect, and we can kind of just work our way from there gonna pass so we get the dc all right never mind we can get rid of a guzma so we'll nest ball for charmander see if we prize we got flareon which is really good flareon is amazing got two energies prize whatever choice bands we do have one lily prize okay not bad it's a good thing we do have flareon though that late game gx attack could be really important to winning so ultra ball for another charmander could get flareon too and then i could Guzma the Venusaur up. 
don't really see a point in that though. I think we just try and get as many Charmanders down in case he does like a Guzma here. Even though we got rid of one, it's still important. Any scoops, yeah. I did not think he was going to stick around after that, to be honest with you. I didn't even... Yeah, I did not expect that. But you know what? Venusaur Celebi is like playing against Buzzle Fermosa because Buzzle Fermosa in Expanded, or Expanded, in Japan, is pretty popular. Arguably one of the best decks in the Japan format is Buzzle Fermosa. So yeah, playing against Venusaur. It looks like we're up against Zoropod here, judging from the types. But you see Buzz, you see Buzzle Fermosa. It's the same as seeing Venusaur Celebi in our format, in my opinion. So we'll see what we start with here. Hopefully we get another good start in hand. We kind of do. This deck, um, the only problem this deck kind of faces is just not getting good starting hands. We don't play that many supporters. Again, mind you, we only play seven draw supporters. So, yeah. And we're against Lost March. Never mind. We are not up against Zoral Pot. I really thought it was, but yeah, it's Lost March. Ooh, the Lily top deck. Okay, that is a lot of Charizards. I think we're just gonna have to do Stretcher. I hate to do it because Stretcher is so important in the late game for this deck, but like, man, this is just awful. I don't even know if I wanna play Stretcher right now. Uh, we'll do this, see if we can find a Nest Ball. Rare Candy, I might as well take that for next turn. We might get judged, so actually it might be smart to Stretcher. Yeah, I think we kind of have to. We'll play it after we do Lily, though. In case we get Marshadowed or Judge. There's a skateboard. Um, honestly, I kind of just feel like Ultra Balling for another Charmander. And I think I'm going to do that. We'll get rid of Fire and probably Fire Energy. I think Flareon's not bad here either, but I think we're just going to get more Charmanders down. We just need to build up the Charmander board. And in case we do get Mars Shadowed, which is most likely going to happen, we're just going to get these two back. Just so if we do, we have better odds of drawing Charizard. And we will pass. Hoppip is not weak to fire, which sucks. But if we knock out Hoppip here, that's one less jump fluff we have to deal with. But the problem is with Lost March is as long, unless they get like the worst start ever, and they don't get that many Pokemon in the Lost Zone, then yeah, we're just, we're just going to be trading one shots. And I don't know if we can keep up with only four rare candies. And considering we just played our Stretcher, we don't have much to work with. So this is not a good matchup in my opinion. This is probably one of the worst matchups we could have asked for. But Lost March isn't even popular within Japan. The Japan meta right now is a lot different than our meta. Obviously one of the reasons why Vileplume is so good is because it's just all the basics that are popular right now in Japan. Nah, he got Triple Hop Pip, he got the Emolga, and he bumps my stadium, which doesn't really matter. But the Absol is dirty, and he gets a Mountain Press. If this gives us a supporter, we're in trouble. Of course it does. I guess it's one that we didn't really care about because we have a good hand. Still, that's pretty annoying. Another one. If that gets rid of a supporter again, this is bad. We don't... Oh, God, another supporter! You'll stop it! Bro, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. We're not gonna get a supporter now. But we do get double Charizard, which is pretty good. We'll uh, play the ability on this Charizard before we do our Stellar Wish. We probably need to retreat or get a Guzma. Guzma will be good, I guess. Knock out either Absol or Hoppip. Probably Hoppip, to be honest. Yeah, we got Guzma. Figured we would get it. Do I play his ability? I think I will. I think we just need to keep thinning. And because we're in top deck mode, it's not given. Yeah, get a bunch of energy in play. Flareon might be useful at some point. We'll see. We'll just knock out a hot pip. The problem is we're getting rid of all our energy to knock this thing out. And we are very vulnerable to getting killed, but the less, you know, more hot pips we take out, the better. I guess Absol would have been the better target, but again, if we were Ooh, that's a really good prize. But yeah, taking out Absol would have been good, I guess, to get Jirachis for retreat back. But with the ability and the one shot all the time, it's not a big deal. We can always retreat Jirachi with an energy if we really need to. I think it's more important just to take out as many hot pips as possible. It's gonna double a Molda, yeah. There's no way Charizard will ever not get one shot in this matchup. This is what makes this so difficult. There's no GXs to take out, and considering one of the only other ways we can back up this matchup is with our own GX, it's not really good. So Cynthia, 
If for some reason we survive the turn, I will be very happy. He's doing 100 damage, so literally one skip plume is all he needs to uh, knock me out. Or even if he attacks me with Jump Pluff, like, or Natu, we, our ability knocks us out. This is one of the problems with this matchup, man. This is, without a doubt, our worst matchup. There's honestly nothing we can really do. If we can take enough knockouts early on, we can maybe try and win in the prize trade, which we do. Okay, can we get a like, Guzma? No. Will Roaring Resolve? Don't have too much energy to work with right now. We need to get that, uh, we need to get Energy Recycler. Okay, there's Eevee. We'll definitely put that down. We got another energy. We'll hold on to it. And we'll just knock him out. Not really a big deal to knock out a Molga. Would have been better to take out Hop Hip. But you know what? The more prizes we take, the better we'll be off right now. What might Victini in this deck, actually? Victini would be pretty useful. All right, there's Skip Loom. It'd be nice to have Victini take a big knockout, give it one prize, get all your energy back for Roaring Resolve. Victini would be pretty nice, because I probably would have Ultra Balled for Victini. It's gonna netball. There we go, we got the knockout. At least we took two prizes before, that is, I guess, good. And I don't know if I want to go in with Natu or Flareon, or Charizard or Flareon. It's probably Charizard, to be honest. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it does matter, but probably go in with Charizard. Well, the thing with Flareon, though, he hasn't put that many guys in the Lost Zone yet. So, we actually might be better off to go with Flareon. I am tempted to Guzma the Hop Hip. He'll do less damage. I don't know. Flareon seems risky. But, again, he hasn't gotten that many guys going in the Lost Zone right now. So, I don't know. He's doing 81... 40 damage, so we might take a hit, so I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's a good time to go into Flareon. Like, the problem with Flareon is I don't see it ever one-shotting anything for that one attack that it does. Like, if Hoppy was weak to fire, Flareon would be really good right about now. And I honestly am going to Guzma the Hop up. Right, the less damage output he does, the better for Flareon. I'm gonna try and deny him a Flareon knockout. I might regret this. I might not. Don't really care. Put down everything, I guess. Who cares? Alright, we're looking for like another rare candy. We got Cynthia. I will take that. That definitely denies him a Trumbeak. Trumbeak annoyance issue thing. I don't know if this is the best play, but this is the play I'm going for. So I don't want him to knock out Flareon here. Nice, and our supporter's pretty nice. We'll see if we're able to win this. This is going to come really close, I think. We have a nice lead in prizes, so we'll see. kind of wish we had a nice roll-up, but we'll see. We're not gonna, I mean, I guess it's good he bumped the Shrine, because if he doesn't knock me out, we probably will end up getting rid of Flareon here. I might end up manually retreating it, to be honest with you. The reason I put Absol down, by the way, then I guess it's like Nat 2 and if he ever plays another Molga down, they don't have free retreat. So Absol is really good right now in this matchup. So he's going to Cynthia. Doing one, yeah, 140. He's going to net ball for grass. All right, that is not for a skip bloom or another hop pip. See what he does next. Nice, no knockout, perfect. So we can't knock him out this turn, we need to retreat Flareon. Um, Cynthia. I was gonna Ultra Ball, but no. It's better to Cynthia. Got the energy, nice. Would've been better to Guzma there, obviously. It's fine. We are in desperate need to get our energy back though. So yeah, this is an issue. We have two energy prize, so we'll see where this goes. We have a rare candy in our hand, which is good. We'll take our prize. Another energy. All right. As long as we can just get two more Charizards in play, we are on track to win this game, I think. Let's 
contain Liza. That is a supporter I have not seen in a very long time. Contain Liza, funny enough though, could actually be good with Zapdos as like a one of. Okay, so... Any scoops? Alright, I was going to say, what was I going to bring up? Probably would have been Charmander. Then I would have just tested my luck. But yeah, we were able to come out on top there against Lost March. I think the turn that he didn't attack at all was what we needed. Take those two extra prizes at the beginning. But other than that, yeah, Lost March. Pretty uh, good matchup. Pretty bad matchup. Sorry, it's not a good matchup at all. It's not good at all. No bueno. Alright, we'll uh, do another game in just a sec, guys. See you then. Alright guys, we're gonna go get into another game. We have a six win streak, so if we win one more game, we're gonna get these two team up packs, which I'll probably try and incorporate at the end of the video regardless. And we're up against Rayquaza, so another matchup I think we can definitely beat. He might be playing the Picarom Rayquaza build though, that probably is a lot worse than just straight up Rayquaza Naganadel. So it's one of the two. It's probably gonna be straight Rayquaza. I'm gonna I'm gonna put money on Rayquaza and Picarom because that is probably the best Picaron build you can play right now. We'll see. Okay, we got a Jirachi start. No Charmanders. That's fine. We'll play the Eevee down. Cause we might get more Shadowed and... Um, I don't know. Like, who cares? So we'll see if it's going to be Picaron or not. It's going to Nest Ball. Okay, so this is definitely Picaron then. No, it's Vika... Okay, so it is a Vika Volt build. Funny enough, though, Vika Volt can one-shot Charizard, so that's another big annoyance. But you know what? Got enough GXs in play for me to just come in and just whoop. Especially when we come in with a Flareon knockout, that's going to be huge to turn the game. Charizard is... Rayquaza is one of the only cards Charizard can hit good numbers on for, like, not too much maintenance. It's like, oh, you only need a couple energies on Charizard to hit your really good numbers. So it's... I think this is a pretty good matchup for us. Especially when we come in late game with Flareon... We should be able to win this game, as long as we're consistent with taking out the Rayquazas. As long as we just do nothing but knock out Rayquazas, we're good. Just gonna see what we got off our top deck Nest Ball. Okay, a Supporter, I will take it. We'll Stellar Wish for Pokecom. Just, I want to get Charmander. I would get Heat Factory, but I'd, I'd much rather just get Charmander here. Maybe even another Jirachi. No, we'll get Charmander. Still have all their nest balls. I don't know. Maybe it was better to get Heat Factory. I don't really care. I'm gonna attach just so I don't draw that. Well, Cynthia. There's Rare Candy Charizard. Okay. I don't know though. If he has Rare Candy, Veek Volt, and Guzma, um, yeah, this is not gonna end well. But we do have a good hand. If we had a Guzma right now, this hand would be really good to knock out Rayquaza with. We'll see if he gets it. He got rid of a Rare Candy, but yeah. Of course he has it in his hand. I don't know what Vikavolt Rayquaza... I don't know what Vikavolt is like. And he had the Guzma, bro. Get out of here. What is that? Come on, bro. You actually had the Rare Candy Vikavolt Guzma in your hand. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Really, dude. I find that very hard to believe. Oh, that's pretty crappy. What do we draw? Another Jirachi's good. All right, Stellar Wish. Nest Ball. Man, that's so stupid. If you have another Guzma, I'm going to give up because I'm tempted to hold the hand because I really like it. We're going to keep attaching, though. The more energy in the discard, the better. You know, no, we're going to Cynthia. I was going to hold because it's so good, but I <coughs> probably need to get more stuff going. And that's what more stuff looks like. Definitely need to get more Charmanders in playing, just in case. If you actually have Guzma energy, because I really need this energy to stay on so I can barricade and knock him out. We have three cards. I gotta hope he doesn't think I have the knockout here and just hope he doesn't have another Guzma. Bro, I swear if that's going for Guzma. Okay, good Marsh Shadow. I mean, that does disrupt his hand, but I'm fine with that. Better than him just knocking me out with Guzma, which, I mean, he could still hit off this Marsh Shadow, which is really annoying, but we'll see. Okay, no Rare Candy Charizard. Choice Band's good, though, in case he does actually do a Guzma here. Does he have any fire? Like, he does only one, though. I doubt he'll play that ability. No, he probably will, so we can then do... 
you do record his name. It would be so nice to knock him out right now because he barely even kills Charizard. Okay, it's gonna Cynthia. No Guzma. Alright, good. We hopefully can knock him out. We'll see. I might just go in with Charmander and then just retreat if we whiff. Because I don't really know if I want to activate Char Jirachi, but I guess we need it. But if I don't find a skateboard, then we're kind of screwed. If I don't find a skateboard, then there's like almost no point in going in with Jirachi. I mean, I guess we can retreat with an energy. Yeah, that's fine. No, but then we can't do its retreat cost because Stellar Wish puts to sleep. Great. Ooh, alright, let's get rid of Candy. No, we got Heat Factory. That helps a lot also. We need an escape board and we need a rare candy. Let's get it. Nope. Okay, Absol. Might as well play down. This is a very big oof moment. Cynthia. Escape board, rare candy, Charizard. No, we got Guzma though. Mm, rip. I think, honestly, we might be too behind in prizes to even go with Flareon. That really sucks. We have Guzma, though. So, I can at least Guzma something. I don't know. He'll probably have his own Guzma, though, but we got two Charmanders down. This really sucks. We weren't able to pop off, and this is a matchup that I honestly think is probably one of your best matchups. But that turn two Vigavolt Guzma just, out of nowhere, just messed me up so bad. I can't believe he actually had those cards within his hand. That is so rigged and so retarded, but why I am very, that's why I don't like playing against people, because they are super lucky for some reason. Okay, so they're just gonna knock me out, which works fine. I think I'll bring out the Charmander and retreat it this time around. Heat Factory for the win. Let's go. Rare Candy. Yes, finally. We're gonna knock him out, and he has no Rayquazas in play. Obviously not right now, but still. We're in a good spot. We might be able to come in with Flareon soon. No, Flareon get knocked out. That's a bad idea. Um, yeah, I think we do attach. And yeah, we knock him out. 180 on the dot. Finally, we get something going. A little too late, though. We'll take our two prizes. What do we get? We got another Guzma, another Lily. We can play Lily next turn, maybe. So Flareon is doing 140 damage. 160 with this. We would need, actually, our other choice band. Kill Rayquaza. And he's going for Shaman. That's even worse than going for Rayquaza. Rip. I think what we can do is hope Stella Wish gives us Rare Candy, then Guzma Lele. And if he has one more GX on his bench, we can maybe try and follow another Guzma Flareon win. So we could win the game, actually. We can win this game, guys. It's possible. We just gotta hope that, um... We gotta hope we get Rare Candy. Um, and then we gotta just finish off. And we gotta hope he, uh, puts his another GX on his bench after we take out this Tapu Lele. So the win is very possible. The win is definitely possible. I think we can pull it off. We just gotta get lucky. Cause then we can win the game of Flareon. All right, what do we draw? Rare candy, this makes my life a lot easier. Not a rare candy, okay. I don't wanna grab Flareon, so we're just going for Feet Factory and no rare candy. Great, there we go, got rare candy. So, we're gonna need a fire energy for Flareon, which I feel like we'll be able to hit. So, okay. Continuous Blaze Ball is only doing 160. And I don't want to bump the, f the Heat Factory. But we gotta do it. That sucks. But this is the only way we can knock out Lele without doing his ability, which doesn't help too much. And then we just gotta hope he benches another... GX, and then we can just win the game here. What else do I do? Do I... Do I do Energy Recycler? We will have... I can get back at least... Do I have to get back all five? Level five. Oh, you do. Shoot. I don't want to put five energy back. Yeah, I think we just have to hope we find an energy next turn. If we get one off for prizes, we win. If he benches the GX, obviously. And we got one. Nice. So... If he benches another Rayquaza, we win the game. Bench Rayquaza, I know you want to. I know you want it. Yes! And that is hopefully game as long as we don't get judged. Which, uh, could happen. Don't judge me, please. So I can just win. I just want to win this, man. 
That's all a man wants in his life. I think we'll wrap the video here. We'll get those team up packs. We'll open them up. Wrap up the video. Okay, he's got the Rayquaza. I don't think he plays Judge. Yeah. He's not gonna be a Lily for Judge. Oh, he is playing Judge! But he gets rid of it! Yes! Whew. We've been saved. I don't think he plays two Judges. I He plays Marsh Shadow and two Judges, that is. It's a lot to ask for. Okay, there we go, we win. Unless out of nowhere he finds a way to get rid of something on his bench and drops something in Marshadow. But yeah, that should be game. Nice. Unless our Flareon is prized and I missed something, but nope, that should indeed be game. Pretty good game. Pretty close game too, literally down to one prize. And we drew an energy, so we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, we'll uh, put this on. Get Flareon. And Flareon finishing the game off here, folks in a pretty exciting close match but yeah we uh, i think we played this pretty well so power burner will indeed ko him for 200 damage and that is that folks charizard beating rayquaza vikafold off of one of the most insane turns my opponent could have gone on his second turn we we're still able to come out on top with a clutch win very close though all he had to do was not bench rayquaza and all he also had to do was not like he could have judged me and i would have been screwed but we are going to be able to open up two team up packs to end off the video here uh but yeah charizard flareon japan deck i think it's good um i think charizard will get a bit better when boswell Feramosa comes out and starts to make a lot of noise for sure definitely will be better we got a galvantula we'll open up obviously the other pack yeah i do like I like this Charizard Flareon list a lot. Probably is the best way to play it. I don't know. It seems the best way. We got Nine Tails, and we got another Fairy Charm Reverse Hollow. So not great. Wait, why am I going back to versus? But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up today's PCG video here. I think we got two pretty good games. Three actually with this archetype. But yeah, Japan Charizard, Charizard with Flareon, definitely a deck I think works. But yeah, I think uh, I think the deck is good. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's PCG video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Help me on the road to help me on the road. If you want to subscribe, tell me reach 4,000 subscribers, guys. We're getting close, man. We are getting super close to 4K subs. And if you enjoyed the video, of course, drop a like on the video. Check out Card Cavern TCG in the description. If you guys need to order codes, again, get them there. And you can also use the discount code LDF for a discount on your purchase. Peace out. Bye.